In this video, I want to show you how you can copy some cells from a Google Sheets spreadsheet and put them into your presentation. Two different ways that you're seeing here on the screen, and we'll talk a bit about a third method as well. But we'll go to a blank uh, slide and we'll go to our sample workbook here. And so here we've got our cells filled in. You notice what I've done is I've formatted, I've set a shading behind these three numbers. And I want to do that because I want you to see what does or doesn't come over in each of these methods. So it starts the same way. We highlight the cells we want to copy. We hit Control C to copy. And I go to my slide and I just the basic Control V is paste. And what happens is you'll notice, let me move this so you can see it, it pastes it in as a table in sheets. So uh, this in, in slides. So it becomes a table within here. And when I, just like any table, I can make it bigger. The numbers don't don't get any bigger because of course that's the font setting. So I can highlight all of these cells and I can change the font size to let's say 18. That makes it easier to read. And I, because it's a table, I have my formatting available as well. Notice it didn't bring any of the lines over. It did bring the shading over, but it didn't bring any of the grid lines over. So to set the grid lines in a table, what you do is you can highlight the cells you want to set it for, and then you use this drop down arrow at the top right to select which of the grid, which of the borders you want to set. Now in this particular case, what we're going to want to set is some of the borders and maybe not all of the borders. So if I want mostly the internal lines to be set, then I might select this one, the internal borders. So if I select that one, now you see what is selected and you can go ahead and now change the color of those lines. So let's say I want to have this medium gray, I don't want it to be black. So if I click outside, you'll see it did just the internal borders. But now I want a right border over for the last column here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to select that set of cells, say just the right border, and set that to the same medium gray. And so now I've got the lines and I can do the adding on the bottom as well. If you have a line that you want to remove, so let's say you've added more lines than you, what you wanted, you could remove a line as well. And the way you do that is just in this cell, for example, I'm just going to select this cell and say, uh, just for purpose of example, the left border here. So I'm going to select the left border and I'm going to set the color to be transparent. And that's how you remove a border line. So that's how you can set up a table. It's nicely formatted. You have all the power of using a table in slides. The other way of copying is an unformatted. So I'm going to go back to my sheet here and I'm going to select those cells again and say copy, control C, come back. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use edit, paste without formatting. And when I use that, it drops it in. Let me move it over so you can see it. This looks kind of odd formatting. What it is, it is a text box, a text box that is using tab spaces to try to create the separation between the columns here. So this is just a text box. There's no table formatting. And why would you ever want to use this? Uh, you would want to use it because it allows you to, using the animation feature, build <clears throat> this text box row by row because it's considered by paragraph and sometimes you have to press the paragraph the enter key at the end of each of them to get it to actually work properly that way but that's why you would paste it in this way the third option is if you wanted to do a screen capture and that's just using any screen capture program for the particular operating system that you're using you would just do a screen capture of that area and paste it in here as an image. Of course, the image, you can't change anything. There's no editing allowed. The text box, I can click in here and edit however I want. So that's how you can copy cells from a sheet into slides. If you start using a more professional office suite like uh, PowerPoint and Excel, you have far more options in terms of pasting in as well as formatting. The table formatting is easier. The animation is easier. The also uh, the other thing that is really helpful, especially when you're using tables of numbers, is that in PowerPoint you have a 
different types of tabs, including a decimal align tab, which allows you to line up numbers at their decimal spot, no matter how long those numbers are without using leading spaces or other types of techniques. So it makes it really easy, quick and efficient when you start using uh, professional tools like Excel and PowerPoint.